What is going on everybody? So I've been getting a lot of requests lately about doing a vlog at one of these Jaguar games. So I thought about it a little bit and I said, all right, let's do it. Now, I've never vlogged before, so I hope it's good and I hope you guys enjoy. And if you don't enjoy it, then I will really question your abilities to enjoy anything in life. So let's get it. All right, we are here at Everbank Field right now. One of the only banks in the world that is open on Sunday, but it's a beautiful day out right now. It's about 1020, uh, blue skies. Just a great day for some football, man, but we're gonna go stop by the Generation Jaguar tailgate, check in, see what's going on over there. We're gonna go up best side two three. We got gel shots up in this bit. Yes, sir. Red, white, and blue. Let's get it. Duval! 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 Hell yeah. All right, guys, I'm out here with the man, the myth, the legend, Jordan DeLugo, aka the president of ginjag.com. What's going on, man? Hey, man, can't complain. Ready to see the Jaguars beat the Chargers? Oh, you already For the know, man. First time in ages. Yeah, I think Phil Rivers is what, like six, seven, and six and one against us? Yeah. It's been pretty bad, but he's never seen a defense like us. That's right. But then, one thing that these guys know that we don't, they already know the outcome of this game. <laughs> Are they a little smarter than us because of that, or what? I think they might be, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it I is think, what it is. I think the uh, Jags are going to come out, run the ball very well, and uh, get after Rivers a little bit. Yeah, we need to rattle Rivers a lot. I mean, he's he got to... the ball so quick. Yeah, that's all about to say. He gets through the ball quick, but we got some elite cover guys. I mean, our defense were stacked from head to toe. I mean, there's really no weakness on the defense right now, but... Yeah, man, this is your boy Jordan Lugo. Cheers, y'all. You can always find us up on ginjag.com. Follow the links down below on Facebook. You'll see all his work. But yeah, we're about to get this dub. Absolutely. Go Jags. All right, guys. So out here at the ginjag tailgate, not only do we have beer, food, plenty of people partying, but we also have our own ginjag filter. <laughs> yes. Where else do you find that? I don't know. All right, so we are leaving the ginjag tailgate right now to go get our tickets. The only thing about our tickets are we got our tickets through a buddy of mine and uh, we're not meeting up with him or we know some random people. He told them to call them and then meet up with them at 1130. So I have no idea who we're going to meet up with. I don't even know where our tickets are, but uh, we're going to make it work. All right. I'll let you guys know if I make it out alive. Here right now at Daly's place. We are supposed to meet this guy at Lot Deep. He ain't answering. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully I get in this game and I can enjoy Jack's W. While I'm out here waiting, you'll see right here, this is called Daly's Place. Basically, every night before a uh, Jaguar game, they host a concert here. Um, they've had all kinds of people come through here. Uh, Zach Brown Band, they've had like Future come through here. They've had a bunch of different guys. They try to appeal to all different guys, but uh, this is just an extra way to bring in some revenue to the Jacksonville Jaguar since we are a small market team. And uh, we had to get revenue coming from other places. You know, that's one reason why we go to London every year. London gets us about like 20% of our annual revenue, somewhere around there. So it's definitely a key part in keeping the Jaguars in Jacksonville. You know, they have Daly's Place hosting concerts. It's also an indoor practice field. Um, pretty soon they're gonna be renovating the shipyards over here, a bunch of land on water. So um, they're gonna try to bring in some businesses there, some more bars, just to give Jaguar fans more to do at like home games, you know what I'm saying? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. What's up, man? What's going on? All right, vlogging? dude, we vlogging right now. All right, so there's some good and bad news about this situation. We got the tickets. The bad news is that I had to throw away my selfie stick, which was connected to this GoPro. The good news is we have cabana seats, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Should be a lot of fun. They don't want me to go out there and do my solo. I'll embarrass this chick. All right guys, so this is the Bud Zone, AKA the place where people buy really shitty tickets and they come sit over here and drink because they don't really give a shit about the game.
That's Gus Bradley. We don't take time to people like him. All right, so we are out here in FanDuelville about an hour before kickoff. Yeah, man, sweet situation over here. They have uh, cabanas up there. Those are all like private cabanas, so that's like where I should be. They also have pools over here. But on top of that, I'm glad to have these fans back. The parking lot was crazy today. <laughs> we're winning. Get back at it. Let's go. Duval! Duval! Yeah, I'm out of cannonball. Yeah, so get out of this plaza. Can I just take your belt off? Oh, yeah. I, don't, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> Uh, we out here, we got pool access, what we about to do. The Star Spangled Banner will be performed today by U.S. Air Force veteran Dolores Quaranta. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light Gay through, through the night That our flag was still there Coin cost, baby. Yeah, we gotta let our defense set the tone. But I'm in a pool for the opening kickoff. Third and one. Yes! 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 Sweet over here because we got the game over here. But you also got red zone over there. To fight for your fantasy team. You know what I'm saying? And my children from all their mother. We don't get it. We don't get it. We don't get it. So they just overturned the call because they're profiling us for being big cats. So I literally looked away for a second and I guess we get a fake punt. Yeah, so we got a fake punt and then an extra point block. I literally looked away so I'm a little disappointed in myself. That about wraps up the first half. It really just a boring half. I mean, our only touchdown came off of a, uh, like a big punt. But offense hasn't been doing anything. We're not converting third downs like we did last week. Our run game is trash right now. That's your start. That's your start right there. Yeah, we, yeah we're out here. That's your start. Yeah, we're out here. Let me ask you what was that? Like, my end zone. Maybe it's just recording. Oh. Yeah, we're out, we're out here, we're out here living in the pool, but yeah, let's let's hope for let's hope for a more exciting so we, we out here in Florida, you already know. So it's hat time right now, and it's just Veterans Day weekend. They're doing some like people swearing in to the whatever kind of Marine Army Corps they're in. True faith and allegiance to the same. Pretty neat, man. So it's 14 to six right now. We're playing like shit. I think we're trying too hard to get the run game going. Mercedes Lewis dropped the wide open pass. 
It's got to be better than this. Right, so the Jaguars got the ball back. 6.15 left in the third quarter. We haven't done shit on offense. There's a lot of people here, but we have nothing to cheer about. Uh, we're down 14 to 6, so we got to get stuck in here. Especially as we like decide to not kick a field goal and go for it on fourth down. It's got to be to the pass game because our running game isn't working right now. Uh, we need to get a touchdown right here. Is running out, we forced the ball out. Let's uh, say you was down by contact. We got a chance. Chargers about to punt with 108 left in the fourth. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel good about it. We go into overtime. Who else is the call? It is Harris. Alright, so we have the ball first. What I'm a little worried about is if we get a three and out, also we flip the field, they have really, uh, really good field position. So, so that's that exactly right. Be there! God damn it, Marquise, you just suck! God, Marquise, you just catch the damn ball. Put the damn tail on his fucking tag. That's a huge third down here. If we get this third down, we have a chance to get great field position, get the ball back, and then with a field goal to win it. So we got third and nine. Here's a field goal for the win. So the Jaguars won a stunner in overtime. Did not expect to get a W. Jaguars don't ever lose these kind of games where they commit a bunch of, you know, self-inflicted penalties. And, you know, just like Bortles making a couple like really bad decisions, almost having a pick six. But we were able to get the ball in overtime. Actually, we didn't even get the ball. We, or we got the ball, we moved it to that 50 yard line, punted. And then AJ Boya got a clutch, clutch interception, so. We won. We happy. I'm riding back to Orlando. Happy. AJ's my boy. AJ's my boy. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm out. Peace.